Happy Thursday, Print Fam. Feeling a little bit better than yesterday. Not so down, but still not like great. But a few things to do on the docket today. Got a one to one this afternoon. Got to make a delivery. And I am meeting with a financial advisor with a couple of my previous companies. I had some 401ks and they've gone. So I'm gonna consolidate everything and just know where it is and have control of it. And then hopefully one day I'll have more money and I can actually contribute to retirement because right now I'm doing nothing to contribute to retirement. So just living day by day. Again, it's one of those financial stresses that I have. But uh, I've gone through my emails this morning, got the vlog ready to publish, and I'm about ready to shoot my computer. For weeks, it has made this like high pitch sound. It's one of the fans. So I'm gonna figure out which fan it is today, and I'm gonna buy a replacement because it's driving me nuts. And it's not worth the like five dollars that it is to replace it plus um, thank you for those that use the Amazon affiliate link um, that's how I'll be able to buy the fan so it doesn't become one of those financial stresses for me so let's crack this thing open and see what's going on so uh, I keep the computer up here on the HP latex cuz why not better than being on the floor my computer case has two screws on the back side and then this panel comes off. I know it's gonna be dusty in there. Ooh, spider webs even. It's not that one. It's not that one. Not that one. Not anymore. Those are the only fans I have. I think that only means it's the power supply. Yeah, I only have three fans in the power supply. It's driving me nuts. I couldn't figure it out. So I just turned the machine back on. Well, I turned it off. I don't know if you saw that, but I turned it off. I unplugged some peripherals, made sure it wasn't the hard drive making the noise. Didn't sound like a hard drive. So turn the thing back on. And it made the noise when I initially turned it on and now it just stopped. So, I don't know. It's driving me crazy. At least it stopped for now. All right, so I've got the Konica turned on. I've got to print or reprint those 12 by 18s cut down to 11 by 17s. So I can try to crease them on the Duplo so they don't have the cracking issue. I'm still looking into a folder. And then I'm also going to print some 4x6. And thank you, George S., for the mention that you can do better on 4x6 with a 13x19 sheet. Because you can fit 8 up instead of 4 up on a 12x18. And so I bought some from Kelly Paper. I bought their 130 pound... Um, I think they call it a silk cover and my cost per sheet was two cents more than the 12 by 18 so not much but in turn it is taking the cost of a 4 by 6 and basically cutting it in half so thank you George for that I'm gonna be able to print a lot more for a lot less so appreciate it the feedback so thank you for sharing um, if you guys have any other nuggets of wisdom along the way that's that's why I share because I hope that someone learned something but I appreciate the comments because I'm definitely learning from everyone as well so 
waiting for the car to kind of warm up. Then we're going to do the 11 by 17s first. Kelly Paper, I went and told them what was going on. They actually gave me a ream of paper saying they brought this paper in because it's supposed to crack less. But I'm still going to try to crease it with a Duplo, even though it gives me headaches because alignment and this, that, and the other. So, again, still looking for a folder, but I've got to get this job finished for now. So, on with the printing. I've realized that I become happier when I'm actually being more productive. So my happiness, while it's been angry because I've thrown away so much paper, I'm feeling better because I'm not just working on the computer. So I definitely need to try to increase the workflow so that I can keep my mind off of stress and just work. So thank you for the recommendation on the 13 by 19s. This was really smooth. I had to rig up a funny way to hold this back. I'll flip the camera around. I had to, my tray was barely long enough to hold 13 by 19, so I had to use this, which normally, anyway, normally you use one of these on the back, at least I do, that's what I thought they were for, because you get three of them with the machine. Still haven't figured out what this one is for, but anyway, the tray wasn't quite long enough to have one of these on here because the magnet is on the back side, so that worked with this. You have to adjust this guy to fit 13 inch wide paper, and then it came out beautifully on the stack tray. So again, thank you for that recommendation. It literally cut my cost in half because you can fit eight instead of four on a page. So, and really the two cents is negligible when you're printing thousands of postcards. So thank you so much for that recommendation. I've got to go put some long pants on because I'm going to meet with people and um, we'll be back in the shop later today. All right, print fam, I'm at Michael's. They have a lot of Caesar. Don't buy it from here. So this is 12 inches by 36 inches. So one foot by three feet, foot feet, sorry. $19. You can get 15 inch wide by 30 feet for like 65, 70 bucks. I came to buy a punch for some, some doorknobs. Now I gotta go home and print them. It's like 6.30, I've been gone all day. All right, print fam, it's about 10 o'clock. Finally got the punch working. Cut this with scissors, so not too bad for a little door hanger. It is four and a quarter wide by 11 inches tall. So we're able to fit three on a 12 by 18. Unfortunately, it's not four inches wide. And I could put four, but just waiting for final approval from Bob on the cutout and the slit. And we'll get them all printed. We've got to do a hundred. They'll do first thing tomorrow morning. So it shouldn't be too bad. We'll see. I feel like I did a pretty good job with that hole. Cutting it by hand, so not all of them are perfect, but I think that's pretty good for doing them by hand. Now I just gotta put a little slits in them so that they can be hung on the door. They're all done. So it wasn't too shabby. Definitely not fun, but good little job. So good job, Bob. Let's see what else we need to get done tonight before I go to bed. All right, print fam, I'm calling it a night. It's 11.30, I finished up a couple of things, so all is well. Got an acrylic, not an acrylic, an aluminum um, die sub order that I'll be subbing out. Um, just waiting for final approval. I've been emailing back and forth with some artwork options. Um, so hopefully I should have that tomorrow. Pretty, 
pretty decent profit for the amount of work that goes into it. And then I have a big banner order that I have to do tomorrow. The banners are eight feet wide by 15 or 20 feet long. And I'll be subbing those out as well because one, this doesn't print that wide. And two, I don't have any place to cut it. So, plus it's probably cheaper anyway. So, we'll be doing that tomorrow along with who knows what else. So, hopefully things can keep progressing and production can help ease my, as I was saying, hopefully things can continue and it will relieve my stress. I think, like I said, that's what's causing it, or I guess the depression, anxiety-ish things is just that not being busy using the machines because then they're costing me money and not making me money and I'm not being able to pay myself and all that fun stuff. So hopefully things will continue and it will just get better. But thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. If you have any questions about what I do, why I do it, how I do it, etc., leave those down in the comments. Thank you, Cameron, for editing the videos. Really appreciate you. And if you guys want to support the channel, you can hit that thumbs up button. You can, I was going to say like the video, but that's the same thing. <laughs> it's late. Um, you can subscribe, follow along the journey, use the affiliate links or buy business cards, stickers, etc. from the description. So thanks as always for watching. We'll see you in tomorrow's vlog. Print fam, see ya. Psh.